Hello everyone and welcome to this segment with Florida East Coast Railway. I'm your host Andrew Cox and today I have the pleasure of speaking with Luis Hernandez, the VP of Intermodal Logistics at Florida East Coast Railway. Luis, how are you? Good Andrew, and you? I'm very good. Thanks for joining me today. So Luis, what role does FEC play in the overall rate of consumption in Florida? In Florida, as you well know, Florida is a heavily consumption based state and the whole economic or the whole economy is based on consumption, especially in South Florida. Um, now our, our services join precisely Jacksonville with Miami, reaching also the Orlando area. Um, so we are heavily uh, focused on, on how the consumption is, is changing in the state and, and we are based on that. So we adjust ourselves to bring all the goods in time efficiently to, to be right there for the, for the people to consume them. Luis, in what capacity do FEC's contribution affect the functionality of the state of Florida? Well, we move on average 900 loads per day uh, between Jacksonville and South Florida. Uh, all of those um, loads are taken out of the, ra of, of the highway, making the state more environmentally friendly because with w only one locomotive, we can pull 100 containers. So this means we are bringing capacity and sustainability to the state. Luis, how efficient has FEC's contribution been to its community? Well, it's been great, uh, especially in the past few months through the pandemic. Uh, we have been able to adjust our services to bring primary uh, or the first necessity goods in time. Uh, we operate under 98% on time. So we are working towards replenishing all the inventories in South Florida and making that uh, part of our keystone. Luis, one of your core values at FEC is community, and that's not always commonplace throughout the history of the transportation industry. How does FEC honor that core value? Well, first of all, we are an eco-friendly railroad. We operate uh, on LNG. We have LNG locomotives with, that represent less emissions of CO2 throughout the state. Uh, and trying to expand our capacity, uh, like adding containers and adding train starts, to attend that demand that's on the highway. That way we can help the community releasing highways and the mobility of the state by moving everything on rail. Luis, every industry and every mode of transportation has been affected in some way or another by the COVID-19 pandemic. What are some of the challenges that FEC has faced and overcome throughout this pandemic so far? Well, Florida being a so heavily consumption-based economy and a touristic-based economy too, uh, the state has been impacted a lot, and so has we. Um, what we've been trying is to diversify our reach and trying to offer a solution for the capacity in, Southeast, in the Southeast USA to bring and supply everything in the South. Uh, definitely, it has been hard, uh, especially through the first part of the pandemic when from March to June, probably extending to July, was everything locked down and, and trying to overcome that was, was, was tough. The ports being closed and the Caribbean, may, Miami is mainly serving the Caribbean and, so, and South America, and those were closed too. So uh, the impact was really hard during those months and overcoming uh, has been successful. Uh, our strategy of uh, reaching new customers and bringing solutions to the, cost, to the current customers has been successful and, and we're on the right path. What about the recent election? We think that it's going to have an impact in many industries. What kind of impact do you expect the most recent election to have on your business? Well, we expect to have a positive uh, effects on us. We just uh, are crossing our fingers and working towards not locking down the country and the state specifically uh, to have it uh, up and running and, and trying to uh, help the economy back again uh, to start it and, and potentialize it. There you have it. Thank you, Luis, for those insights about the Florida East Coast Railway. And to everyone else, stay tuned to Freightways.com for more content like this.